Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this beautiful 2021 Chevy Silverado. This one is the LTZ, and the price on this one is 65,000. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the features this one has. So under the hood, they're going to be a 6.2 V8 that is connected to a 10-speed automatic transmission. This engine produces 420 horses and 460 pound-feet of torque. And the fuel economy numbers are 16 in the city, 21 highway, and 18 combined. So here is our SRP sticker of this 2021 LTZ. This one is loaded with features. The starting price is 52,000. It does have the 22 carpet flash metallic wheels, the 6.2 engine, and uh, it does have a few more packages. If you're interested, just go ahead and pause the video and the price on this one is 65,000, almost 66,000. So if you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Summit White. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of white trucks. They remind me of work trucks, but this white goes really good on this LTZ. On the hood, they're going to be very nice, aggressive lines. It does have 6.2 liter badge. There is actually two badges, one on the other side as well. And since this one is the LTZ, it's going to be finished in chrome right here in the front. And there is a good, a good amount of chrome uh, around the truck. And for the headlights, Everything is LED right here except the turn signal indicators. So the high, low beam, daytime ring lights are LED except the turn signal indicators. And I really wish that they were LED since this one is a $65,000 uh, truck. The bumper is going to be finished in chrome. Some parking sensors here in the front. In the bottom, there are going to be some fog lights and they are LED. And there are going to be some uh, tow hooks in the front. And this one does have the dark essential package so basically it blacks out a good amount of uh, things and it does black out the chevy uh, bow tie the grill is going to be finished in chrome as well and seriously this truck just looks so aggressive but let's go ahead and move to the side and i'll go ahead and show you the side view of this 2021 chevy silverado so here's the side view of this beautiful silverado and uh for the side they're going to be a good amount of chrome door handles are finished in chrome the window cells are finished in chrome and the mirror is finished in chrome and for the mirror it does have a um, blind spot monitoring system it does have the 360 camera it does have a light right underneath that camera and on the fender there's going to be the silver auto badge it is finished in black since this one has the black essential package uh, it's a 450 dollars option and it does have a side chrome uh, step it's 775 dollar option and for the rims they are a three thousand dollar option the size of those rims they are 275 50 22s and honestly they don't even look that big but the design is very nice and it fits this ltz trim just perfect and up top as you guys see they're going to be a shark fan antenna and in the back they're going to be the 4x4 uh, sticker so here is the back of the silverado and with this dark essential package just makes this LTZ look much much better so basically it just blacks out the letters here in the back and the badges Silverado is going to be all the way to the left LTZ all the way to the right and Chevrolet is going to be imprinted on the tailgate up here you're going to be a button to open the tailgate and a camera and there is actually more cameras uh, up there that's part of the technology package for the taillights, they don't have a crazy design to them. They are a combination of LED and halogen. In the bottom, there are going to be some uh, sensors and the bumper is finished in chrome since this is the LTZ. And here is the bed step. Exhaust tips are finished in chrome and they're not connected to the exhaust pipe. Some sensors here in the back, pink connectors. And then here is the hitch. T uh, spare tire release and overall this truck looks very nice from the back so here is a key key feels nice and solid chevy is going to be in the back a little bit of chrome on the side and the key itself is nice and solid has a really nice weight to it there are going to be five binds on this key lock unlock remote start tailgate release and a panic button to remote start the truck just go ahead and click on the lock button and then hold down the remote start button And to open the tailgate, there are going to be three ways. There's one on the key, one on the tailgate, and one inside. Let's go ahead and double click on the button uh, to open the tailgate. Opens nice and slow. Does not have spray and bed liner, but does have some tie downs on the sides, some lights, 
on the sides and they are actually LED so of course that's good and it does have an easy outlet right here in the back here is the door handle it is finished in chrome as I told you guys and it does have a button this button will take care of locking and unlocking the truck so here is a front door panel and this top portion right here is that synthetic rubber material I love the gray stitching right here just gives the door a uh, nicer look door handle feels nice and solid door locks memory seats and the armrest itself is nice and soft unlike the red trail boss i reviewed uh, this one is wrapped in leather it's nice and soft this is nice and soft as well i love the wood trim right here and here are the window switches the front two are automatic up and down mirror controls does have folding mirrors and this is finished in plastic this is plastic good amount of storage place with the bottle holder it does have Bose sound system and here are the seats wrapped in leather in this ltz it is a standard feature on the ltz trims and here are the seat controls so here is the interior of this ltz it's nice and spacious and the windows are large so it's very easy to see out of this truck even though this truck is massive here is a steering wheel it's wrapped in leather it's a little bit on the thinner side but it's not too bad it's going to have a little bit of brownish uh, brushed aluminum. And here is the cruise control. Here is the uh, distance between you and the car in front of you. So you could adjust the distance. Uh, this truck actually has the safety package uh, one. And here is a bind for the heated steering wheel. All the way to the, uh, to the right, there are going to be the phone controls. A few controls to control the screen in the middle. And this screen just looks very, very nice. Unlike the smaller screen on the trail boss is uh, the lt trail boss and the custom trail boss and the other trims and here is the controls for the turn circle indicators and the high and low beam it does have a column shifter that will control the 10 speed automatic transmission it does have plus and minus you can control the gears and it does have a drive mode basically you could uh, switch from normal to sport to off-road and the off-road uh, controls and here is the bed light fog lights, brightness control for the interior, headlight controls, and this one right here is going to turn on uh, the lights on the mirrors. A little bit of storage place up top. And here is a screen. It's a little bit on the smaller side if you actually compare it to the size of this uh, truck. It does have uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. They are actually wireless. And uh, to a knob, uh, volume knob, to a knob, you could actually control the screen with the uh, to a knob if you don't want to touch the screen so you have two options uh, to do that and here is the backup camera it does have a very good resolution it's very clear 360 and you could actually change the uh, angles here is the front and here is the front facing camera actually let's go ahead and go back to this that's a back camera right there it does have this really cool 3d um, view and you could see the sides so you could see the rims and you could see the front rims if you want to. So there is a ton of controls. You could mess around with it and uh, you could actually see what's in the bed. There's two cameras where the brake light is and uh, you could zoom in into the hitch. So there is a ton of uh, things that you could uh, do. In the bottom, they're going to be the controls that will control uh, the screen, volume uh, control to a knob. And here are the climate controls. Very easy to use, fan speed, temperature controls it does have auto function sync function and here are the modes it does have cold and heated seats three stages each you could turn on only the back heated seats so the back portion and here is the cold seats three stages as well and it does have link keep assist parking sensors engine shut off when you come to complete stop the engine will turn off tailgate release emergency lights traction control and here is a uh, switch to uh, turn on or off the AC outlets in the truck and you could click on this button this button will open all the windows down so that's very nice but you cannot move it up to close all the windows so you have to do that from the window controls right here on the door USB-C USB 12 volt and here is the AC outlet and here is the trailer uh, trailer braking system and here is the engine start stop and here is a wireless phone charger does have a little bit of storage next to it 
and two cup holders, a place to put maybe a phone or something small. On the side, they're going to be more of that wood trim, chrome trim right here on top of it. And here is a little bit of storage place on the side. And you will have the glove boxes. The glove boxes have that two tier design. That's the top one, very small. And there is the bottom one. It's nice and big. And here is the armrest. It does have a phone, a uh, place to put your phone. It's wrapped in leather, it's nice and soft. And inside there is just a ton of space. They're going to be a light and they're going to be an aux, USB, USB-C and an SD card. And here is the rear view mirror. It looks beautiful, it's frameless, and it does have the rear view uh, camera. So basically it uses the camera where uh, the third brake light is located. And it's such an amazing uh, invention. I really like it. So let's say if you have a lot of things in the back, in the back seats, and you can't see out of the window, this becomes very helpful. Up top, there are going to be the garage controls. It does have some LED lights. And it does have the sunroof controls right here. This one has a sunroof. It's a thousand dollar sunroof. It's basically a package you add to this Silverado. And it does have the rear window switch. And there are going to be a few more buttons right here. So here is a visor. It feels nice and solid. It's a little bit on the thinner side but i love the fact that it's not finished in plastic it's finished in this cloth material and it's going to have some lights and here is the uh, mirror it's nice and big here is the back door and the back door is the same as the front the top portion right here is nice and soft it's that synthetic rubber material door handle feels very light here in the back and here is the window switch more of that wood trim and here is the armrest, it's the same as the front. It's wrapped in leather, it's nice and soft. This is plastic, plastic, good amount of storage place right here. And here is the second row. Second row is nice and spacious, since this one is the crew cap. And there's going to be a storage place right here. And there is another one on the other side. And here is the armrest. The armrest has two cup holders, a little bit more storage place in the middle. This is nice and soft. And for the seats, you could actually lift them up. They lock in place and there is just a ton of space with the seats up. A little bit of storage place in the bottom with the jack and the jack tools. Two cup holders here in the back and they're going to be heated seats, 12 volt USB and USB-C with the AC vents. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I would like to thank Annette here at Maritime Chevrolet in Fairfield, Connecticut. If you guys are around, make sure to come check them out. I'm gonna go ahead and put the information and link in the bottom of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and as always, I'll see you next time.